Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nurfasiha and together with my group members, we are going to present our final year project proposal with the title of Calcium Oxide Recovered from Eggshell Waste as a Potential Absorbent for Greenhouse Gas Carbon Dioxide. This presentation consists of three parts, which are Introduction, Literature Review, and Methodology. In introduction part, I will explain the research background, problem statement, research significance, and the objectives. This project is developed due to our high concern on the increase of carbon dioxide emission to the atmosphere from heavy industrial activity. This problem has resulted about 55% in global warming, and it also instigated the formation of acid rain, extreme climate, and sea level rise. The current technique with the aim to reduce the concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere has been established, and it is known as carbon capture and storage. There are various methods that can be employed for carbon dioxide reduction, which include solvent absorption, uh, membrane separation, and the use of solid adsorbents. Among these methods, Solid absorption is reported to be the most efficient for carbon dioxide capture. They work by absorbing carbon dioxide to separate it from other gases in the atmosphere and purifying it. This process is usually conducted at high temperature in the range of 600 to 700 degrees Celsius. This is because uh, calcium oxide absorbent can effectively absorb carbon dioxide and convert it into calcium carbonate within that temperature range. Using this method, the calcium carbonate can be reduced back to calcium oxide by reheating them at 900 degrees Celsius and thereby releasing the carbon dioxide. This absorption and desorption of carbon dioxide is known as calcium looping technology. Uh, this method is reported to have the advantage of high selectivity as well as fast reaction rates and has been found suitable for carbon dioxide capture after high temperature combustion. Nonetheless, the major problem associated with calcium oxide absorbing is that after several carbonation reactions involving high temperature absorption, the absorbent has tendency to sinter and aggregate. This will reduce the surface area of calcium oxide absorbing, thereby reduce its carbon dioxide absorption capacity. Uh, the second problem of this method is associated with the source of calcium oxide. At present, uh, the primary source of calcium oxide is known to be the limestone on the Earth's surface. However, uh, this limestone has been extensively used in road, in road and building construction. This over-exploitation of limestone can be detrimental to the environment. Moving on to the next part, which is um, the research significance. Our project highlights the actual waste as a natural source of calcium carbonate and other minerals which, it, which made it perfect for fertilizers, uh, as soil conditioner and as additives for animal feed. Besides, we can obtain purified calcium oxide from this actual waste through the process of calcination. The unique pore structure of classified eggshell also made it a great candidate as for porous absorbent. One of the uses of calcium oxide absorbent prepared from uh, this actual waste is that it can be utilized in the removal of anionic dyes from aqueous solution. The objectives of our research are to prepare calcium oxide as carbon dioxide adsorbent by utilizing the actual waste and to alter the structure and post structure of calcium oxide in the effort to enhance the carbon dioxide absorption. That's all from me. So, Assalamualaikum. My name is Najmi. I will continue the presentation which uh, is in the chapter 2 which is literature review so in this uh, chapter 2 we, we will focus on two things which is the carbon dioxide removal and the second one is the sources of carbon oxide so as we all know nowadays the invention of new technologies has been invented with a rapid pace which caused the production of carbon dioxide is increasing day by day which uh, this thing has caused some adverse effects to the environment and also the human effects. Uh, the effects are including the plants, droughts and also species extinction. So a lot of methods have been introduced or implemented in order to reduce the carbon dioxide gases emissions to the atmosphere. So uh, these are some of the previous methods that we use. The first one is the using polymer via absorption and absorption method. The second one is through chemical uh, reactions and water scrubbing. Uh, the third one is using liquid solvents, which is amine, and solid uh, solid solvents, which is carbon oxides. The fourth one is the is the using electric generation, and the last one is using gas membrane technologies. However, this work will, will be focusing on using uh, carbon oxide 
uh, as an absorbent for CO2 gases. So uh, the process used for this uh, work is using calcium lupin process, or also known as CLP. So the main advantage of these technologies is a uh, required low cost and having a fast reaction. Um, however, the, the main disadvantage of these uh, technologies is uh, the solvent will be decayed after, after through uh, multiple cycles of calcium lupin process. So this figure is uh, showing the general process on how uh, calcium is captured using the technologies uh, we call calcium lupin process. Next, I am Arif Padilla. I will present about the sources of calcium oxide. There are four sources of calcium oxide as described in this paper, which are from limestone, dolomite, seashell animals, and eggshell. Firstly, sources from limestone, calcium carbonate, and dolomite, CAMG CO3-2. Most limestone and dolomite are mined from open quarries. Although in many areas, economy and environmental considerations favor large-scale production by underground mining. The basic elements of surface mining are overburden removal, drilling, blasting, and hauling ore to the crushing and processing plant. Besides that, dolomite is less common than limestone because it consists less calcium oxide compared to limestone. Limestone consists 45.5% of calcium oxide and 8.16% of magnesium oxide. Meanwhile, dolomite contains around 30% calcium oxide and 20% magnesium oxide. Mining both of these minerals on the other hand can be harmful to the environment especially air quality and visibility within the working areas this is because mining activities often produce large amount of fugitive dust and gases emission from extraction transport and processing operation furthermore this limestone mining operation typically have a considerable negative impact on hydrological process large, large scale amount of and polluting surface and shallow groundwater next sources from seashell animal the waste shell was utilized as a bio-resource of calcium oxide. The example of seashell animal are cockle shell, clam shell, oyster shell, and seashell. These shells are composed of 95% calcium carbonate. The calcium oxide can be obtained, but there is some process will take place within its decomposition by reacting with carboxylic acids. This method seems not convenient as the process required high cost. Moreover, the waste of seashell also rarely to find in numerous quantity. Lastly, source of calcium oxide from egg shell. Over 5,150 million of egg are produced per year, with the number increasing dramatically. It is mostly made up of CaCO3, which account to 91% to 95% of shell. The high calcium content in egg shell may turn into calcium oxide using a salcination process. Every day, shell generate in vast quantities by hatcheries resulting in high expenses across the world. Landfilling, composting, incineration are common treatment techniques to solve waste but very expensive and costly. Therefore, in this research paper, in order to make calcium oxide and CO2, we employ eggshell waste as a recycled source of a green material and economical road as its safe cost and environmental friendly method. Alright, now let's proceed to the next chapter of this presentation, the methodology. So in this uh, in this part, we will learn on how to synthesize the calcium oxide, the characterization of the products, and also the expected result from this study. The first one is the synthesis of calcium oxide. It started with a calcium chloride production, which can be obtained with addition of each shell with hydrochloric acid. Next, the calcium chloride will form calcium hydroxide with addition of sodium hydroxide or it can also form calcium carbonate with addition of sodium carbonate and then the calcium hydroxide or calcium carbonate will undergo calcination at 900 degrees celsius for two hours uh, in order to obtain calcium oxide which is the final product this study aims to modify the calcium oxide uh, the first modify uh, the first type of modifier that will be used is the surfactant which consists of three types of surfactant the first one is cpl trimethyl ammonium bromide cpmb uh, sodium dodecyl sulfate, sulfate SDS, uh, and lastly laurel dimethyl betaine uh, BS12. And also the other type is amino based polymer. Uh, the first one is uh, trihydroxyl methyl amino methane trees, uh, polyethylenine PEI, and also polydopamine PDA. So for 
the addition of modify, modifier, surfactant and also amino based polymer, it will be added in the synthesis after the first step, which is after the production of calcium chloride and before the formation with uh, sodium hydroxide or uh, sodium carbonate. Next, the product that is synthesized will undergo characterization. The first one is the scanning electron microscope characterization, or also known as SEM. Uh, this method will identify the morphology of the product uh, before uh, and after absorption of carbon dioxide. Next is the characterization using X-ray diffraction, or XRD. This method is to identify the crystallinity of the product. Next is the BET. Uh, this method is to identify the surface area and pore distribution uh, of the material that has been synthesized. Next is the FTIR. Uh, this method is used to identify the functional group that exists in the material. Uh, and lastly is the TGA or thermogravimetric analysis. Um, this method is to identify the absorption performance uh, of the material after the absorption of carbon dioxide. So lastly, what is expected from this study is the first one, um, we managed to synthesize the calcium oxide using the egg shell uh, by using different modif modifiers. The next one is able to characterize uh, the physical and chemical properties uh, of the material that is synthesized for uh, suitable that is suitable for uh, carbon dioxide absorption. So I think that is all from. Thank you.